Come in, please. Good morning. Good morning. This is the speaking test of the International English Language Testing System, taking place on Saturday, March 2nd at Aland English. The candidate is Mai Ling Wen, and the candidate number is 36702903. The examiner is Aaron Smith, examiner number 637821. Good day, my name is Aaron. Can you tell me your full name, please? Uh, my name is Mai Ling. And can I see some identification, please? Thank you. Okay, let's begin. In this part, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. I would like to talk about photographs. Do you enjoy taking photos? Um, yes, I do. It's the perfect way to capture a moment in time. Um, moreover, I like to show them to people so I can share those moments with them. Um, since I'm an avid traveler, photos are my way of sharing my experiences without words. How often do you take photos? I take photos almost daily. Um, I'm a big fan of selfies, so I uh, often snap a few of them and post them to social media. I also take hundreds of photos when I travel. In what situations do you like to take photos? Um, any situation, uh, but especially when I see something I think is out of the ordinary. Uh, for example, I like to take photos when the sun is setting just right on my street, or when I catch a glimpse of two people holding hands. Do you prefer to take photos of people or of scenery? Um, I prefer to take photos of people. I like to capture candid emotions on their faces. I feel that photos of people can be quite powerful. Moreover, I feel that scenery photography never does the actual place any justice. Do you prefer to take photographs yourself? or to have other people take photos? Um, definitely myself, uh, as I'm quite picky about the photos that I take and post. Um, I take the responsibility upon myself. It's a controversial opinion, but I feel that I do a better job of getting the angles right and showing myself in the best light possible. How do you store your photos? Um, on my iCloud, uh, I'm really grateful for this type of technology that keeps my photos safe for me. Um, I post my photos on social media, such as Facebook and Instagram, so that also keeps them secure. Do you store your photographs on your computer? Absolutely, uh, it's a must nowadays. Are there any photos on the walls of your house? In my own personal apartment, no, as I haven't bothered to decorate much. Um, on the other hand, my bedroom at my uh, parents' home is full of colleges of my friends, family, and I over the years. Do you frame or have you framed any of your photos? Um, many times, uh, although not too often anymore, um, as social media is taking over. However, I've often framed photos to give to my friends or family members as gifts for special occasions. Do you prefer to send postcards to people or to send photos that you took yourself and why? Um, I don't often send postcards, but if I did, I would include my own photography as well, uh, as I feel quite confident with my skill. Furthermore, I feel that my own photos are much more personal. Although some of the, uh, some of the postcards are beautiful, I don't feel that they hold a candle to my own. Now I'm going to give you a topic. I would like for you to talk about it from one to two minutes. 
You have one minute to take notes and plan what you will say. You can use this paper and this pen to do so. Your topic will be describe a trip that you plan to go to in the near future. You can use this cue card to guide yourself. Alright, and begin. And that is one minute. So as I mentioned before, you have one to two minutes to speak on this subject. I will be timing you and let you know when your time is up. Don't worry if I stop you. You can start speaking now. Um, I am planning on traveling to Hoi An, Da Nang and Hue next month. Uh, my sister is coming to visit me in Hanoi. So I would like to travel there with her. Um, Hoi An and Da Nang are quite near each other, located on the central coast of Vietnam. Hue is located near these cities as well, about three hours away by bus. In Hoi An, I want to enjoy the old town charm and mix of culture, such as a hint of Chinese and Japanese architecture. Um, I would also like to have some clothes tailored and simply relax and enjoy the peace and quiet uh, opposed to the hustle and bustle of Hanoi. In Da Nang, I would also like to relax and enjoy the beautiful crystal clear beaches with my sister by my side. In Hue, I want to see the imperial architecture. Um, I can imagine that Seeing these structures will take me back in time and leave me in awe of the amazing things that humans have created. I am also keen on trying the local foods in Hue that are well known around Vietnam, such as their beef noodles. Um, I really want to visit all three of these cities to better understand Vietnam's rich culture and to see um, a different region. And um, I hope that I will have new perspective after this trip. Okay, that is two minutes. Thank you very much. Can I have the paper and pens back? Yes. Thank you. Since we're talking about travel, I would like to now have a discussion with you about this topic. What are the advantages of traveling with a group of people? Um, although I prefer to travel alone or in a small group, um, I can see some benefits of traveling in group. Um, I can see that many people organize a large travel group uh, because they can get um, a special package deal. Um, I can see how this is quite attractive. Furthermore, if you don't speak the local language, I'm sure it's comforting to have a group of those who speak your mother tongue. If you were to get lost, um, there are more brains to help find the way on your own uh, if you cannot ask uh, a local person. Uh, moreover, uh, perhaps the more the merrier, you have more people to share this incredible new experience with. Do you think young people should travel abroad? Um, I definitely agree that um, young people should travel abroad. Um, I believe that would that young minds are more open to new ideas, so they can use the things they learn to greatly benefit them later on in life. Um, furthermore, young people learn language learn languages sorry more quickly than older people so they may be able to pick up on the local language faster. Um, if young people visit a poorer country, they can realize all the things they take for granted and uh, begin to live their lives more appreciatively. Um, lastly, it adds color to life to uh, know and love people from many different countries. It would be even better to start this at a young age 
Are international trips popular with people in your country?、Um, international trips are becoming more popular in my country、um, as Vietnam is rapidly developing.、Um, in the past,、uh, many Vietnamese were not able to travel abroad due to economical problems.、Um, however,、um, now that more businesses are on the rise in Vietnam. Some business people are able to travel abroad.、Uh, furthermore, more students are having the opportunity to study abroad as languages are becoming more popular to learn, especially English. I'm sure that many native English teachers are coming to Vietnam to teach us.、Um, if、uh, it will open more opportunities for us to go abroad in the future. What do you consider when you take a trip? Um, could you clarify that question for me? Certainly. When you plan a trip, what preparations do you take?、Um, unfortunately,、um, the first thing I have to consider before taking a trip is the price.、Um, as a young person, I do not have as many savings as those who have been in their career for years, or even retired. Um, I have to consider the uh, the uh, airfare price, uh, the hotel price, the exchange rate, and cost of living in that country.、Um, secondly, I must think about the safety of that country,、uh, especially if I'm going to travel as a、um, a lone woman.、Um, it is also important to think about what there is to see in the city or country before I go. After all, who wants to spend time and money visiting a place without fascinating tourist attractions? Thank you very much. This concludes the speaking test.